the another communication protocol which is very much useful in uh, uh, IEEE, uh, sorry, uh, IoT devices, which is called wireless heart. Now, wireless heart is a wireless sensor network uh, topology based on the highway uh, addressable remote uh, transducer protocol heart, developed as a multi vendor interoperable wireless standard. Wireless heart was defined for the requirement of the process field device network. Actually, this particular protocol is specific for a uh, different type of devices, okay, which is used in the application of IoT, but the devices are completely different. The protocol utilize the time synchronized, self organized and self healing mesh architecture. The protocol support operation in 2.4 gigahertz ISM band using IEEE 802.15.4 standard radio. So the physical layer is the same 802.15.4 as it says that the standard for the radio is the 802.15.4. It work on 2.4 gigahertz frequency. It is, it is making a mesh network and it is self-organization and it work in a time synchronization manner. Each wireless hard network include four main elements. So there are different type of devices or different type of functionality which is based on different type of devices. So the first device is called field device. They include a wireless hard process uh, transmitters and wireless adapters. Then we have the gateway. Gateway bridge the wireless hard network with wired infrastructure. So gateway is like that only, right? So field devices are nothing but your sensor devices, low power devices. The gateway node is there, which is making the interface between the actual device on wireless hard and the uh, cloud or you can say the wire devices. Then we have network manager. This is one type of device that will be used in this particular uh, network, the wireless hard network. Now, it is responsible for network configuration, communication among devices, management of routing message and monitoring network conditions. So this particular device is, is not a low power device. It is very actually high power device, which is, is having all those responsibilities. Then we have the security manager, which is the part of the network manager. Security manager deal with security and encryption, setting up session keys and their periodic changes, right? So this is the manager that we'll use in one device. So the network manager and the security manager, we can put all put together in one device and we can use these two functionality. So this is how the, the network will look like. So here we have field uh, devices, which are nothing but the sensors, which are sensing the environment. Handheld devices is also field devices. Then we have uh, maybe different host application. It is uh, connected with a wired bus network. Then there is a gateway node. Here we have the network manager and the security manager. And these particular field devices are sending their data to through the access point to the gateway node with the uh, uh, wire network and the security manager and network manager will look after all the network activity which is going on. And security manager is responsible for uh, making the communication secure. And the gateway is actually the bridge between the actual uh, network, which is the physical wire network and this particular wireless network. Wireless hard protocol stacks are like this. So physical layer, as I told you, the physical layer is the standard of 802.15.4, but in the data link layer, there are many changes. There are a super frame table, there are link table, neighbor table, graph table, or are maintained in the data link layer. In the network layer, it is session table will be maintained root table will be maintained, source root table and service table will be maintained. Then in the transport layer, the transport table will be maintained and the wireless hard application will use the command handler module, which is connected with the network manager. And this can, the connection uh, management connections are in the dotted line and the tables are also connected with each other. 